began work on the Standard Life Building in May of last year, and we just obtained uh, substantial completion last week, and we're moving people in starting on uh, Wednesday, September 1st. All of these are one bedroom units, 12, total of 12. Okay. All right. What's the square footage for each unit? The average square footage is about uh, 750 for one bedroom units, and it's a little over 1,000 for the two bedroom units. The residents can access the uh, parking lot in the lobby, which of course gives us a 24 hour security system. We have closed circuit TV cameras as well, outside and inside. Every apartment has its own mailbox, its own secure mail room. So uh, mail is delivered to the building. Residents don't have to go outside and pick up the mail. Right. Now you retain the old letter box, I see. We did. We're going to polish this up nice and pretty, probably this afternoon or tomorrow. Okay. All right. We haven't been able to open it. We don't know if there's any mail in there. <laughs> That's the old Santa Life uh, address board. Uh -huh. We spent a lot of uh, money restoring the lobby, as you can see. Lighting fixtures. We do keep the old historic lighting fixtures at both entry foyers, this one and the other one. Pool room fitness center, uh, pool deck, community room. Uh, these residents have uh, full access to all of those shared amenities. This is original copper. Okay. It was painted, uh, it probably had a dozen coats of paint on it when we first uh, uh, took over the building. We have removed and stripped all the paint and put this back into it. Uh, good condition. So that's all original. The doors are original. Okay. And uh, all of the transom work and so forth are original. Uh -huh. We have a little over 2,600 square feet of retail space along the uh, corner of Pearl and Roach Streets, which is this space over here that's still being are original, although we have repainted them. And this being such an art deco uh, lobby. I work very closely with the uh, Mississippi Historical folks as well as the National Park Service to completely uh, restore the exterior of the building. That was all masonry, uh, cleaning and tuck pointing, restoring the stone, uh, restoring the original storefronts and transoms which had all been painted over. Oh, okay. I don't know what happened to it. I gotta take it over. Two bedrooms, two bathrooms, uh, stainless steel appliances, Balcony. It gives you a fabulous view of the city. It does. Yeah. All the way around. Uh -huh. Three sides. Okay. North, south, and east. And there are two units in the building. Like right the 17th floor, round 15th floor. Uh-huh. It's a huge unmet demand for downtown living. And, and I think it's a reflection on the times, and times are changing, uh, regardless of some of these archaic attitudes about it's unsafe to be downtown and all that baloney. <laughs> you know, uh, we got a couple hundred families that are living down here that are enjoying this quality of life, and, and some of them are down here for convenience purposes because they work downtown, uh, they don't want to commute, they don't want to be driving their cars and all that, and some of them are down here simply because they, they want an urban lifestyle. I could write a book on the challenges, uh, and, and you know, they're not, they're not uncommon for the kind of challenges that any developer will face as in, in, in a frontier mode or pioneer mode of, of uh, starting out the redevelopment efforts in the city. So we, we had huge educational efforts uh, to, to overcome in, in terms of the, the political leadership and, and even the business community. We had to convince the business community to believe in itself and that uh, if the political and business leaders had to become partners. Everybody who lives in Mississippi is truly a Jacksonian, so uh, I say all you Jacksonians that live in, in uh, Knoxville County or George County or Claiborne County, y'all come on home and visit your city.